<laughs> First, let's buy a soldier and choose a cool name for him. Our goal is to unlock and buy the anti-aircraft vehicles and the anti-tank rifles. Anti-aircraft vehicles are unlocked in the chauffeur, chauffeur ribbon at the level 7, worth 88,000 credits or 1,050 gold. The booster costing only 13,000 credits. There's no secret or fast way to unlock it than buying the booster and activating when you're playing a match. Remember that you need to transport at least one person in your car or vehicle. Anti-tank rifles are unlocking the tank destruction ribbon at the level 5. For the Germans and Soviets, worth 284 credits or 3,300 gold. However, the Americans unlock the PTRD at the level 8, costing almost twice its original price. Another alternative is the recoilless rifle at the level 11, costing 180 credits. Remembering that you need to destroy tanks to earn points in this ribbon. So, grab your bazooka and destroy some tanks. I already have made a video on how to unlock the bazookas. So, check it out. Once you burn your rifle, take as much ammo as possible and a pistol to defend yourself and your truck. For badges, fast reload, and hoarder. I will leave here the damage and the reload speed for the rifles. Let's shot! Don't shoot directly at a plane that passes you. It's best to aim straight ahead of the direction it's going. These shooting tips are for the rifles and anti-aircraft trucks. The easiest way to hit a plane is when it comes towards you. You can aim the engine with these rifles, and using the recoil's rifle, I recommend aim higher because of the rapid drop of your shot. If the plane is low, we can aim directly at it, or slide ahead of it. If the plane is fast, we have to aim further ahead. If he is too high, you should aim too far in front of him. If he is too low, you should aim directly at him, or slightly ahead of him. So you need to see the speed, the trajectory of the plane, and the distance from the ground. And with that in mind, shoot! <laughs> 